What is up YouTube? This is Kyle from Average Bros Videos. Today I'm going to talk about the purpose of buying a pistol. To me there are five specific guidelines or purposes technically on the reasons why you should buy a firearm in the pistol category. So today we're going to go over some few pistols and some um, reasons why I think some pistols should be good for these categories. But, you know, you're getting that itch. You know, it's tax season. Oh, my God. I got my money. Oh, my God. I'm rich. You know, what should I buy? Let's buy a firearm. Yeah. Well, why? Ask yourself why you want to buy a pistol. Does it fulfill a purpose of yours? To me, there are five different types of purposes in life on why you should buy a pistol. First one, home defense. Second, carry. Third, summer carry. And yes, that is a difference between carry and a summer carry. If you're already carrying, you already know what I'm talking about. Especially if you live in a humid and hot area during the summer and spring. Fourth, Crap hits the fan, end of the world, apocalypse, firearm. And the last one, but not least, number five. For fun. Oh my gosh, shooting firearms is fun. So, you need to ask yourself, why am I buying a pistol? You need to ask yourself, okay, are there any voids in my life when I'm, you know, with a pistol that I need to fulfill? You know, um, to me, this firearm was given to me when I was moving out and my father gave me his first firearm that he carried on law enforcement. So I had a home self-defense pistol. And the next pistol that I ended up buying, and actually the first pistol I ended up buying, was a fun shooting pistol, the Ruger SR-22. Let's say, by the way, Smith & Wesson, model 686-357 And then, you know what, I need to start carrying something. So when I got my license to carry, Glock 26 9 millimeter. And then recently, with my tax refund, I got the Ruger LCP2. So when you're buying a pistol, you gotta figure out why you're buying something. You know, this revolver does do great home defense. Carry? No. I wouldn't carry this just because of the body size I am. So I'm going to carry hell no. If I can't even carry it, why would I even think about doing a summer carry? Even though I do live in an open carry state, I still don't know. End of the world? Yes. I have full faith in this revolver will function in any type of scenario. And is it fun to shoot? Hell yeah. So that is three of purposes of buying a pistol. The Glock 26 for me actually fulfills all of them, for, in, in my opinion, fulfills all of them. Home defense, 9mm. I do have Glock 17 rounds, which gives me 17 round capacity when I go to bed at night or I'm at home. Uh, it, it's a good carry gun, and I do carry it summer, during the summer. And um, it's a Glock. Reliability is amazing in that for doomsday prepper type things. And knowing the fact that this is the smallest one, I can fit the Glock 26, 19, and 17 magazines, and any 18 if I ever found one. Um, also, it is fun to shoot, in my opinion. It is manageable for me, and I love it. The 22. This is actually on my wife's side of the bed. She just prefers to shoot this pistol. 22s will do damage, very low recoil, so you can actually empty the whole entire clip into the bad guy that's invading your privacy and actually probably trying to kill and rape you. And it's a very fun gun to shoot, and very cheap. See, it's 9 millimeter. Now, the recent thing I got was the Ruger LCP2 for summer carry, because I found out like 8% of the time I was carrying this, but when I couldn't, depending on like, especially when I got off work, I was wearing clothes that I just really couldn't carry that with sometimes if I didn't bring the proper holster. And sometimes you're in the car and also, oh, your wife asks you to grab milk. You don't really have time to put on the holster and put that on. That's why I love this. I'm able to slip that in my pocket and just go. You know, I mean, so you got to find out what is the purpose of you buying a pistol? Home defense. Carry. Summer carry. Crap is the fan apocalypse. Or just shooting for fun. 
I hope these tips really help you out in choosing your pistol. If you're a first time buyer, I recommend trying to find a firearm that will fulfill most of those needs. Because honestly, those are needs. When you go to the range, I really don't want to shoot this all day. I'd rather be shooting all those. Actually, I'd rather be shooting these two because the ammo is a lot cheaper. <laughs> so, you know, think about it. Seriously, think about it. If you're going to spend anywhere from $300 to $1,000 on a firearm, make sure it's something you're going to be able to use and carry or put by the best at something that can fulfill as many of those roles, in my opinion. Thank you, guys. Again, this is Kyle from Average Bro Videos. I will be uploading some more videos because, hey, I actually have some money to go shooting now. So stay tuned for some more videos. Thank you.